It's been about a month since I got the V10, so I thought I'd do a quick update review on how it's faring. I'll give you the conclusion right now. This is the greatest vacuum I've ever owned, and makes the light bulb seem like a clunky old fashioned relic. I'm never going to use a mains powered vacuum ever again, because there's just no need. And this is so much easier to use for every single cleaning task. This is a unique product on the market, and has completely changed and revolutionised in fact, how I clean. And I was absolutely not expecting that. I'm not going to repeat anything I mentioned in the main review, you can go and watch that to see the detail. What I will do though is discuss a few observations, look at the filters, and show empty the bin now it's full of real world house dirt. I use both heads on my vinyl hard floors. The direct drive clean head is a bit noisier, and the fluffy head is a bit more nimble and can get into tighter areas because the hose is attached to the top rather than the back. Both heads have stayed clean and hair free. I've never had any issues with battery life. Some have fixated on the 6 minute runtime in max mode and 3.5 hour recharge time and use that to suggest the machine is restrictive, but that's very misleading and doesn't represent my real world usage at all. It's a myth that you need max power to deep clean or to get the best cleaning results. As discussed in a recent video, max power just lets you clean spot messes more quickly. Getting the cleanest results requires more than brute force and you can truly deep clean in either mode 1 or 2 for normal real world dirt concentrations. I made a change to the way I clean. Instead of a weekly chore mega clean, which was always hard work, I now much prefer cleaning bits of the house semi-regularly. You can do a whole room in just a couple of minutes. It's made cleaning so flexible and easy, and it doesn't feel like a chore anymore. This is why this vacuum is such a revolution. It deep cleans and makes it much easier than in the past. I've never run out of charge, ever, or even got close, and I've never felt the three and a half hour maximum recharge time. Every time I grab it, it's fully charged and ready to go. The bin fills from the back where the little fin is, and this usually makes the last bit to fill up be the part where the max fill line indicator is, meaning you get maximum time between empties. It's best to empty regularly, or even after every use, to keep smells to a minimum. Empty the bin is really easy, and it's never made a mess. Some videos out there try to suggest the filtration on the V10 isn't very good. They've concluded this after effectively abusing the machine, not following the manual, and overfilling it. As discussed in a video with a link in the description, this restricts airflow and prevents a cyclone from working. Many others have shown the filter remains clean, even after heavy use, as long as the max fill line isn't exceeded and the shroud is kept clear. My filter after a month of responsible use is completely clean. There's minor discoloration on the outside, but is otherwise spotless, again confirming that if you use the machine correctly, it performs as advertised. There is absolutely no loss of suction. If you smell the air coming out, it doesn't smell as strongly of the filter material like when new, and smells slightly organic, meaning the microscopic bacteria being filtered out are causing mild odours, and it's time for its monthly clean, which I'll show now. Cleaning the filter is fairly straightforward. And you can see the filter brighten up nicely. After the bin was emptied and filter rinsed, the exhaust air coming out smelled of nothing. I've found the biggest liberation this machine has provided has been stir cleaning, which is just so easy now. No hose pullback, and no balancing machines on steps. As requested by the VAC map, I've repeated my test of this V10 versus a mains powered machine to see if I got the same result as in the V10 review video after a whole month of using a V10. With a clean bin, I vacuum the carpets in the whole house with the V10 in mode 2 at half a meter per second and got this much dirt out. With a clean bin, I immediately went over with the mains powered light bulb, famed for having the best holistic cleaning performance across all floor types. A vacuum will always find something in a carpet no matter how many times you vacuum due to the statistical nature of particle removal, which I've discussed in a video with the second link in the description. You can see it found very little most of which is carpet fibre the brush bar rips out. The V10 performs just as well as the light bulb under real world conditions and absolutely is a replacement for a mains cleaner. It deep cleans, is hugely more convenient, efficient and quiet. I'm now convinced the V10 form factor is the future of vacuuming. Dyson literally have no serious competition in this space 
because no competitor is yet invested in the research and development towards the technology that allows this form factor to happen and work this well. Cordless is definitely the future. Please check out my other videos to see a lot of myth busting and to learn how vacuum cleaners clean.